uh, I'll be working on Utukumbuke Angel Bernard. I'll begin by firstly uh, playing through the song so that we have an idea of what we'll be working on. After that, I will delete each and every track that you've seen here and I will rebuild the track all over again and this time I will be explaining every step that I take. So here's the song. and the chorus so i will delete each and every track here so i'm going to select and delete all this start with the uh, tempo of the song the bpm is 88 my project is already set to 88 so you can go ahead and do the same um the key of this song is uh, key f and the progression is uh, 4 1 5 6 four one five so the chords will be a sharp major f major c major d minor a sharp major f major c major that will be the chord progression so we'll start with the drums i've already inserted a drum rack in my arrangement view so to do that you'll of course uh, go to categories instruments drag a rack and uh, it will of course uh, open up a rack and you can load your samples i'm just going to delete that first i've also loaded some samples so i have uh, a kick i have a, a snare a shaker this is a hi-hat and this is a closed symbol so i will um insert a midi clip and start with the intro pattern so the intro is um here all right this is the the midi rig the or, ra or rather the clip the intro is eight bars so just indicate that pretty fast eight bars for the intro and this will be the first pattern the first four bars of the intro so here i'm going to just add uh i think it's a hi-hat that plays now this is the pattern for the hi-hat at the very end there is a roll and i'm going to change the grid to 1 over 16 so that i can add that roll here so this is how it's going to sound that's the intro the first four bars of the intro i'll now add the second part of the intro drums uh, so i'm going to select from bar nine to bar five here add the midi clip 
and then I'm going to add the kicks, snare and the shakers. So here is the part 2 intro drum part. So you can pause the video and uh, you know go ahead and make that pattern on your side. The next sound I'll add will be strings and I'll use a sound from expand. So I'm going to go to my plugins, find expand, drag it there and I will uh, get a sound from bright pads. I'll find a sound called blend brass strings, this one. So I'm going to insert a midi clip so i'm going to be working on uh, the third and the fourth octave so let me add the midi notes now this is the pattern for the pad um okay i have uh, included these chords plus also i have uh, finessed the velocities of the the midi pattern so as you are adding in the chords make sure you also vary the velocities so let me play it so i'm also going to shape the sound a bit so i'm going to reduce the attack and I'll do so by turning this uh, knob here to the right. And I'm also going to increase the release. So that's uh, the strings. So this is how it sounds plus the the drums also duplicate that pattern to fill in the rest of uh, the intro i'm also going to edit this sound a bit so that it's the same as the original so i'm going to remove these parts delete and i'm going to extend this so that it feels yeah here yeah. Let me solo. The next sound I'll uh, add will be a poly polish synth, and I will use a sound that comes with this door. So I'm just going to find uh, sounds, and then uh, synth leads. And I'm going to find a thick sound called thick wave so I'm going to drag it there um, close down that window add a midi clip and I'm going to add the note so I'm going to be working on the C5 and C4 octaves this is how the lead sounds as you've heard there's a lot of attack so we need to shape the sound a bit so i'm going to of course go here and i'm going to reduce the attack and i'm going to do it from here again reduce it Okay, now I'm also going to overlap these sounds. So I'm going to e extend this sound here. So there is a smooth transition. Okay, that's uh, good. So there is another part of uh, this still the same sound. So let me add it. So this is how these uh, lead sounds. So 
uh note that uh these sounds are also overlapping so if i zoom in you can see there is an overlap and also i have uh, varied the velocities so as you are adding the notes uh take note of that i'm not going to add some marimbas and i'll use a default sound so i'm going to navigate to sounds uh mallets and i'll find a marimba called classic marimbas marimba classic here so drag it to the session view and i'm going to insert a midi clip and then i'll be i'll add the the marimba will be on the fourth bar so i'm going to uh change the grid to 1 over 16 and then i'll add notes uh, f d and c fourth octave so you can also add delay and um, let's hear how it sounds as this solo okay reduce the feedback i'm also going to eq give it a low cut and i'm also going to reduce the dry wet so if i play plus the other instruments this is how it sounds i'll now add a nylon guitar sound i'll still use one of the default sounds that comes with the door so i'm going to find that sound from sounds guitars and plucked and then i'm going to find a nylon a guitar sound called nylon concerto guitar so drag to the arrangement view close down the window insert a midi clip and i will be working on the second and third octaves so i'm going to zoom in i'm also going to maintain the grid to be 1 over 16 so i uh, will add notes uh, f so these are the notes f g a2 and c and all uh and as you can see i've also varied velocities so this is how it sounds <laughs> I'm also going to copy paste so it plays uh, from bar one bar one and two and then the other part from bar three as the last sound of the intro part I'm going to add some fm pianos i'll still use default sounds i'm going to find uh, uh this category called pianos and keys and i'll find fm piano 5 so drag it to the session view insert a midi clip so these are the chords that i've played I'm going to zoom in so that you can see the chords. So here it's uh, yeah, those chords. And then uh, the last bar has these chords. So I'm going to play. Okay, you can hear it sounds awful. So I'm going to uh, vary the velocities. Now, this is how it sounds after I have finessed the velocities. Here's how the intro sounds. The 
length of the verse of this song is a bit different from the normal norm and it's 20 bars most of the time you'll uh, find uh you know verses being uh, 16 bars or 12 bars but you know uh, there's always exceptions if a song calls for 20 bars for the verse you know go with it so um i'll start with adina locator to show where the chorus um where the verse will begin and it's 20 bars and i'm also going to add another locator to show where it will end so it will end at bar 29 and that will be the beginning of the chorus now most of the sounds in the verse are similar to the sounds that were in the intro so i'm going to start with um, adding the sounds that were similar to the intro and then we'll work on the unique parts so i've, I've just controlled d the drums the intro drums and i'm going to do the same for the string pads here i'm also going to do the same for the guitars although i will cut out these the first uh you know four bars i'll cut out the this part here by control e cut it out then i'm also going to duplicate the keys and i'm going to remove this part here and here so these are the sounds that are the same as the intro so i'm going to add uh, guitars and some rolls and i'm also going to add a bass line for the bass of this song i'll add an 808 so i'm going to find a sampler instruments drag sampler to your arrangement view i'm going to find an 808 so first i will uh, tune the 808 and i normally use uh, a tuner to know which uh, the tune of the 808 so I will play note C on my MIDI keyboard and you can see that the tuning of this uh, the tuning of this 808 is A and I need it to be C since I'm playing note C on my MIDI keyboard so I will uh, come here to the root key of uh, this uh, sampler and I'm going to change this so that and to A A2 so if I play this note note C on my MIDI keyboard it's now showing it's C but of course I need to make it to be you know a straight C because now it's uh, a, a bit flat so I will, uh, I've clicked on the pitch oscillator tab here, and then I'm going to increase to 17. Now it's tuned. Now you can do the same to any 808. So if you don't have the same 808 as uh, I have, you know, use the 808 that you have. So um, now the 808 is tuned. I'm going to add a MIDI clip, insert a MIDI clip and add the MIDI notes. So the MIDI notes of this uh, bass line will be between uh, C, C2 and C3 octaves and the bass line mostly follows the chords. So it will be using the chord notes for the, you know, the progression that I mentioned earlier. So here's the bass line. So um, you can see that the notes here are A, F, C, D. Of course, this is D for D minor. Then A again, F, and C. And this is how it sounds all together. <laughs> Now, um, I'm also going to add uh, uh, an amp just so I can give that uh, 808 some power to cut in and be, you know, audible. So I've added the uh, amp 
and I'm going to first of all to reduce the volume let's see how it sounds <music> can also uh, reduce the dry wet by turning this knob to the left I'm also going to affect the attack so I'm going to reduce the speed of attack just a bit there's another variant of the baseline i'm going to add or insert another midi clip and uh, add the notes so i'll still maintain the same octave which is an uh, octave between two and octave three This is the second uh, variation of the bass line. So let's uh, hear how it sounds. So I've uh, this, okay, you can see the notes here. So A sharp, F, C, and then this is note uh, E, this is A3, G3, F3, D, the others are visible. So the, let's uh, hear it. Now, if you listen to the song, the this run here, there's some glide going on. So how I'm going to do it, I'll first start by overlapping these notes. So I'm going to extend the notes a bit and then I will uh, come here where there's the tab pitch and oscillation there's this uh, tab I mean there's this you know this this glide functionality you have to enable it first of so you it's it's off so I'm going to enable it and then I'm going to add on that time milliseconds to around seven seventy-seven. There are seventy-seven point seven. You can do so as you're listening. I've done this before so I know the value here that worked well with me was seventy seven point seven. And if I go back here and this is how it will sound. There will be some glide going on. <laughs> So if you want, you know, that to enable that effect of uh, glide, you have to do that. So this, um, so there's an also another slight variation of uh, the baseline. So in uh, the last uh, variation of the baseline, the baseline will consist of these two parts. So I'm going to do this. I'm, I'll copy paste this part here. And I'm going to cut out this uh, the first half of the bar, and then I'm going to copy paste this baseline, cut out the first half, and then join these two together. And then uh, I'll select both, Control J to combine them. So this will be the other variation of the base line. <music> duplicate these parts to fill in the rest uh, of the verse now that's the bass line so I'm now going to add roll and a guitar and then we will be done with the verse on the rolls I have loaded a drum rack here as you can see and uh, well to do so you just uh, find a drum rack on the instruments category here drum rack you will drag it to your session view and load some samples. 
Now for the samples, this is these are the samples that I loaded into the rack and the, they are the samples that will of course comprise the roll. So I have a tom, I have another tom here. No, this is a tumbling, a mid tom, another mid tom. Here is a crash. Well, I'm not going to use all these sounds, but I'm going to use some. This another one. And this another sample. So I will add a MIDI. Or rather, I will insert a MIDI clip. So I'm going to insert a MIDI clip here on the this uh, you know track. So here is uh, my f the the first uh, roll. So I'm going to uh, you know change the grid to one over sixteen. So this is uh, the first roll, and this is how it sounds. <laughs> Now, I'm also going to add a um, compressor, and the compressor that I'm going to use is called a glue compressor. So I'm going to drag a glue compressor to the track, and I'm going to adjust the threshold and the markup. So do so until you get the right settings that will work with your song. So I'm going to solo and test how this sounds. I'm going to add another roll and I'll start with inserting a mid clip. Grid setting 1 over 16. I'm going to uh, cause uh, zoom in. No, this is the roll and um, something to note here. Okay, let me first of all play the roll so that you can. Uh, you hear well how it sounds. So I'll sol I'll first solo the sound. Okay, now zoom in a, a bit. So uh, there's somehow, okay, there's this part. I have created that flam effect on the roll. So what I've done, if you can look keenly, you see here that the the, the samples are not in line with the grid so uh, you can just this is how I you know came about and this is how if you want your roll to sound the same as mine this is how it should uh, look and this is Tom Tom another mid this is a low Tom mid Tom and then another mid Tom and then there's this crash I'll copy paste this first roll in these parts, this and these parts of the verse. And um, that's it for the, 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 no, I'm now going to add the guitars and then we'll work on the chorus. For the guitars, I'll use a sound from uh, Nexus, not Nexus, but Expand. So I'm going to find Expand, drag it to my arrangement view and find a guitar sound so the guitar sound that i want to use is called dynamic work clean this here i'm going to insert a midi clip on the last uh, four bars insert a midi clip and then i will add the notes and i'll be on octave uh, three And this is how the guitar sounds uh, sounds. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see the notes. Also note that I have varied the uh, velocities. So these are the notes and I'm also going to duplicate this pattern so that it fills the other half of the you know that this section the bars the the second two bars so this is the you know the guitar part and um, we now done with the verse 
uh, let's listen to how everything sounds <music> The new sound in this uh, section is uh, a lead sound and I'm going to use one of the default sounds and uh, actually it's this sound synth lead this 10 so lead drag it to the arrangement view I'm going to add a midi clip and then I'll be on the fourth octave that's the octave between C4 and C5 and I'm going to add the notes. Now this is these are the notes that comprise that lead sound and this is how it sounds. <laughs> know I've varied the velocities and I'm going to side chain do a side chain compression uh, with the drum rack so I'm going to find an, a compressor and the compressor that I'm going to use will be this uh, compressor so I'm going to side chain here and to side chain of course you'll have to activate the side chain on the compressor and I'm going to select the drum rack and um, of course it will be post effects and then I'm going to lower the threshold <laughs> I'm also going to reduce the volume okay that's the lead sound Select those notes duplicate and I'm going to delete three notes Let's extend this, this I'll now add the verse 2 and then I'll add the chorus parts and we'll uh, you know add the outro and finish up with this track. So verse 2 has 16 bars so I will um, indicate that 16 bars so of course if I add 16 to 41 then the bar should or the, rather the verse should end at 47. And that's where the other chorus or chorus 2 will begin. Chorus 2 will be 16 bars. So I'm going to copy the verse 1 and paste it on here verse 2 because uh, the, they are similar. So um, I will um, start by selecting the first uh drums you, this track here and then i'll select the last track which is the i believe it was the guitar sound hold control on your keyboard and then drag it to the verse section of course it's uh, the verse one was 20 bars so i'm going to delete these last four bars delete them now this will be verse 2 chorus 
two i'm going to do the same copy copy the the, the tracks that uh, comprise the chorus control paste there verse 2 is 16 bars and uh, i mean chorus 2 is 16 bars chorus 1 was only 12 bars so i'm going to duplicate these last um parts for bars of every instrument that comprise the chorus to fill in now um here will be the outro so the outro will be will start at bar 73 and the outro will have 12 i guess 12 bars So I'm, I'm going to select these parts. Duplicate. Outro. And now this will be the arrangement of the whole song. Let me play part of it. that is the song i'm going to have a series of uh, mixing and mastering and when i'm mixing and mastering i'll be using these tracks so we'll be mixing the tracks uh, later on um now that's it for this and uh thank you for listening through and let's see each other on the next one ciao